Welcome back to the 12 days of Christmas. We are going to be making uh, candy cane cookies. We're going to mix them up with cocoa. We're going to do all kinds of fun things today. So this basic recipe is for four different cookies. I hope you guys enjoy this one. So it is really simple to make and I'm going to show you how quickly it all comes together. Now I am baking this four times the recipe. So there's four times the ingredients here because I'm having an in-person cooking class coming up and I wanna make sure I have dough ready for them. So we're gonna take our flex plus, we're gonna add our battery pack to it, we're gonna stick our beaters on it, and we are gonna take one stick of butter, I have three, and then we're gonna take three yolks, one yolk each if you're doing a single recipe, and we're gonna beat those two things up together. Once you have that well mixed, we're going to go ahead and add a quarter cup, so I have a full cup, of brown sugar. And we're going to mix that all, and we're going to whip it really well together. And then we're going to add one teaspoon, so four teaspoons, of double bourbon vanilla extract by Camper Chef. Now, of course, if you don't have this, or you didn't stock up before they sold out, then don't worry, you can use regular extract. We're gonna add the vanilla in with the butter and the yolks. Then we're gonna take three cups of flour here, and we're gonna add, so one cup of flour for the single recipe, and I'm gonna add an entire teaspoon of salt, so it is a quarter of a teaspoon for your recipe, right? Then we're just gonna go ahead and mix in the brown sugar. Once I've got that all mixed together, I'm gonna mix this in with the flour and then we're done with the basic ingredients. Then we can food dye so a quarter of it red, a quarter of it green with, um, I'll show you what I did use. If you go to Michael's, this is the best stuff for dyeing. The drop food coloring doesn't get it dark enough. This will make it nice and dark. Um, and then I'm gonna do a cocoa one. So I'm gonna add regular, cocoa mix into one so it'll make it brown and then we'll leave one white. Then your cookie dough is ready. What we're going to do is we're going to drop one um, measuring spoon full, the small scoop, onto our baking mats and as you can see the baking mats have different size circles. Small scoop, medium scoop, and on the back is the large scoop. So it tells you right where to line it up. You can do it on our um, metal sheet pans or on our stoneware sheet pan, um, baking cookie sheet, it doesn't matter. Either one will work. So we are going to mix all of this up and we're gonna make our dough. I'm gonna split it in four and then I'm gonna show you some different fun ideas that we can do with it. When you scoop, oh, I need those beaters. Silly me. Don't you hate it when you're doing a video and then you forget? You're like, what are we doing? Welcome to my life. You too can be a Pampered Chef consultant. We're looking for people to join our team. And if you have ABD or you're a reluctant chef like myself, you too can be a superstar with a Pampered Chef. Trust me, there's no wrong way to do this. If you want to help other people learn how to cook, um, we are telling you that our job rocks. By the way, if you own a rock crock, I want you to reach out to your consultant because if it's me, great. If it's not me, reach out to your consultant because we have some special exciting news that you're gonna wanna hear. And we can't announce it publicly yet, but if you message us, we certainly can tell you what the news is. So reach out, let us know. And then I'm going to take my um, spritzer cookie mix that I made yesterday, and I'm gonna show you how to use different tools that Pampered Chef has to make really fun patterns on your cookies. So stay tuned. All right, let me get this all mixed in. And then when you're wondering about like, what do you do when you're dividing it? How do you keep it together and all of that? So I'm going to put this in some saran wrap in tubes, long tubes, and then I'm gonna just refrigerate it. The other thing that you can do is you can color your cookies, like for my cookie class that I'm gonna be doing. We're gonna be baking some um, of them while we're at the class together, but others we're just gonna take home already 
baked, and then some of them they're gonna go home with cookie um, dough frozen so that they can freeze it and cook it fresh for when your guests arrive. So lots of options when you're doing all of this. Okay, then, let me just put this down here. We are going to take our dough and we're just gonna stick it here. It's very, I think I need to do a drizzle of water with it because it's not packing as much as I need it. I'm wondering if I did four things of flour and uh, three of butter. I think that's just what I did. So I'll have to add another stick of butter with this. So anyway, I will show you a picture of what they look like. You're gonna make your round ball. I'll do it with one of these. I'll show you. See, we even have fails here. But darn it, don't I look cute with my little candy cane leggings on? Like, come on. There's gotta be some benefit for uh, being the reluctant chef. Okay, so we're gonna take some of our cookie dough. This was refrigerated, so it's not soft enough yet. But what we're gonna do with the other cookies, as soon as I add the other thing of butter in, we're gonna scoop it out, and then we're gonna use the back of your scoop, and you're gonna push down in the center. I gotta wait till this gets softer. And we're gonna make a little well. And then we're gonna fill the well. We're gonna fill the well with um, peppermint. We're gonna fill the well with um, different colored sugars. We're gonna fill the well with uh, jam, all kinds of fun things. So I'll post those soon and I will see you all online. Welcome to the 12 days of cookies. I'm Sue Moulton, your Pampered Chef Consultant. I hope you're having fun this season. You can mess up. It doesn't matter, everybody.